Four good afternoon. Men. Oh, it is still afternoon. So good <laughs> afternoon. Uh, four blind men. Four blind men. Can you guys hear me? Four blind men were asked to examine an elephant and to describe its appearance. The first blind man felt the elephant's uh, leg and said, the elephant was definitely like a tree. The second blind man felt the elephant's enormous side and likened it to a wall. The third blind man felt the elephant's tail and was positive that the creature was definitely like a rope. The fourth one felt the elephant's tusk and said, this creature is definitely like an arrow. Each man's notion of reality was limited to the number of attributes they were able to feel and perceive. Different perspectives, different conclusions. None of them had enough information to come to a reasonable answer. If we look at this picture, we have a complete big picture. What is perspective? Let's take a scenario. The focus of a doctor is to, is to diagnose a patient and prescribe what's best for the patient. Their plan of action is to heal the patient and not be concerned about the tools and technology required to achieve that. The hospital administrator, on the other hand, is in charge of the day-to-day -day running of the hospital. They have a different focus, and they ensure that the hospital has all the required tools and technology for the doctors to do their jobs effectively. Different entities, different perspectives, different situations. One's perspective may be determined by the by the emotion he or she is going through at that time. We must change our perspective in, in order to see the positive side of any negative situation. How do we do that? Change our emotion. Simple? Right. And, and I request you all now to take your notebooks and pens out. Let's do some mathematics. Yay. Not. Well, here's an analogy. We all remember from school, uh, I hope especially the ones who are still in school, that to move from a negative number to a positive number, we must pass through zero. Now, zero is a neutral number. For our emotions to change from negative to positive, a good technique would be to ask ourselves, what would we learn from this situation? If we, when we ask ourselves this question, we'll suddenly feel our emotions change from feel mode to think mode. So, we had to think practically or think neutral. For, for us to change from feeling mode to thinking mode. When we don't know what's going to happen in the future, one can create a lot of anxiety by imagining the unknown. We can change this by changing our perspective and by changing from feel to think mode. Our anxieties can turn into excitement. We can do this by imagining, by instead of imagining all the things that can go wrong, we can think about all the things that can go right. This way, we can get to our destination with a lot more excitement and enthusiasm and a lot more confidence. Acknowledging and thinking about the broad and narrow perspectives and how our emotions can, can influence them can be an important part of developing through our lives. We are like those blind men in the story who see things only based on their own perspectives. Changing ingrained perspectives can be difficult, but if we take a holistic or broad approach to considering our own perspective and those of others, we can change our perspective. Why do we have these perspectives ingrained in our mind in the first place, you might ask? Potentially, this might be due to the predispositions created in our mind due to our experiences, influences, and the environment we live in the early or nascent parts of our lives. Can we change these initial influences? Well, the influences cannot be changed, but we can surely change our perspective. Is it as easy as it sounds? Just change your perspective, and abracadabra, life's good in the hood. Well, we are going to mess up and make mistakes. None of us are perfect, and so making mistakes is, is a part of our life. But we need to learn from our mistake because our best teacher is our mistake. Take golf balls, for example. They used to be, years ago, perfect smooth golf balls. But, and the golfers used to hate hitting them because they would make dents in them and they had to keep buying new smooth golf balls. What was the result of this? They st the golfers started to look at techniques in which they can hit the ball in a way where they didn't make any dents. In the process, they realized that the dented balls actually had a better flight path. So they had to t change their thinking and they had to think about, wait a second, we're looking at the wrong element here. 
we're mistaken. We have to go back and look at something else. If the dented balls are better to hit, then we need to change it into looking like the second picture. So they started to do a different research. They realized in the process that they were mistaken and that they had to look at a completely different element. What is the result of this? There are no more smooth golf balls. In fact, in pro golf ball shops, there's up to, the golf balls have up to 450 dimples in them. So when we learn from our mistake, when we change the way we look at things, new information is learned and discoveries are made. Let's take another example, this time about the effects of technology. We sit down to do our mathematics assignments, of all the assignments, mathematics assignment, you know. And um, a WhatsApp message pops up on our, our screen. And assignment is forgotten, and we are on to checking our messages. Is this distraction really a distraction, or can this be used as an opportunity to learn? We all know how technology can benefit us in our research and day-to-day -day dealings. So, we, so how, how technology can help, help us in our research and day-to-day -day dealings. We could have forced ourselves into think mode and thought about the repercussions instead of getting swayed by a notification and the absolute necessity to, to, you know, to check it and complete the task at hand. Um, instead, this could have, been, could have been the solution to the assi assignment we were working on, but most often than not, it's a distraction. The point is, technology can be both a distraction or it can be beneficial, depending on how we use it. So we need to think practically for us to benefit from technology. We all get frustrated sometimes because we feel that the situation we are in is permanent, and in fact, it's all transitory. And the funny thing is, as soon as, you, as the situation passes, we don't even remember it. The hardships we go through are all forgotten. It's really about how we look at things. So changing our perspective is like changing the window through which we view the world around us. A job where we perform repetitive tasks is going to feel like the most mundane and boring job. But if you look at this job as an opportunity to hone our skills for the future, future goals we have in mind, it's no longer going to feel like just a job but it's going to become an opportunity to learn. When we achieve something, we should celebrate our achievement. Life becomes easy when we celebrate little victories. Before we dive into the next big thing, we should take a moment to celebrate the achievement with our loved ones and the people who helped us achieve that. A woman named Eunice Kennedy Shriver started the Shriver camp in her backyard in 1962, which later became the Special Olympics. It was because she saw her sister's disability not as an obstacle, but an opportunity. And, so, and she saw her sister's determination. It was because of Eunice Shriver that Special Olympics was first held in the US in 1968. We've just, Abu Dhabi has just held the Special Olympics carrying on from the legacy of Ms. Shriver. Telling us exactly that, we can achieve anything we want as long as we are determined and we see opportunities rather than obstacles. We encourage you, in closing, to take advantage of these rough spots that you encounter and reflect on them because they can indeed sharpen your perspective and your perception and your performance. When you look at these rough spots and you think about it, they can force you to look at other options and think about another perspective. They challenge our tunnel vision and help open new, new doors and windows. Indeed, they're a blessing in disguise. Thank, Thank you very you. much.